Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video, you can tell by the title, is setting up Uplay in Heroic because, well, I'm migrating everything I can over from Lutris because Lutris seems to be in maintenance mode at the moment. It's just not working out very well. So, where do we begin? Well, first off, we're going to put that over there and we're going to go grab Uplay. Uh, I know it's been named something different, but I'm not going to stop calling it Uplay because it's something you download to play. You play the games. I'm just, I'm just being weird now. All right, I need to figure out which one of these uh, is 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 which is which, because um, I'm going to be uh, quite honest with you. I I just don't know. Games. Okay, so it's this one. So it's the second one that I need to keep and I need to get rid of the first one. So that's another way that you can tell you can click here and then you can click here and there's just Far Cry 5. So yeah, I'm going to just get rid of this one on install uh, and remove. So we're going to hit add game. We're going to just type you play is again. Uh, when we click off, it should pretty much look like this. Now, if you do not end up getting all of this, here's what you can do, okay? And we're actually gonna hit exit first. We're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go into advanced, and we're gonna click allow using Valve Proton Builds to run games. Now, here's another cool thing. You can also head into Wine Manager and grab the newest version of GE Proton. Trust me, you should do it, it's worth it. So that way, when you head back here, you go to add game, we're going to call it you play. And then you are going to run that. You can select wine proton. And we're going to run installer first. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go to downloads and I'm going to select it. And it's going to run the installer. There it is. I'm going to hit OK, going to hit OK, going to hit install. Let me just get rid of that. And that's it. Don't run it. Don't press finish. You're going to go into your drive C. You're going to go to here, I believe. And we are going to just select launcher. Or I believe it's this one. It's really hard because there's a lot of them. So we're just going to go with that one. We're going to hit finish. And then when we hit... Um, well, when everything is finished and you actually end up pressing play, what should happen is it should just instantly, well, not instantly, it will it will start up and it's going to work just like it normally does. And since I'm already logged in, there's not much I need to do. No, I'm not logged into this one. So yeah, you just log in normally. I'm actually going to open the other one instead because that one is logged in. And then you can go and download any game that you want. And that's it. Now, I don't think this application likes to be run in in Wine Wayland, uh, in Wayland Wine just yet. But if it does, uh, you can test it and see what happens and see if it works for you. Anyway, uh, it's not much of a video today. Uh, I've been too busy working on stuff like this. Yeah. And stuff like this in hopes that this will eventually end up working. It does see the applications if I select one. It's a little bit messy, but I'm working on it. I've also overhauled uh, the dock section so that everything is a lot cleaner and more organized. Same with themes and colors. Cleaner, more organized. Uh, same with top bar. I put the widget section up here instead just to make it a little more organized. So, yeah, there you go. I, uh, I updated you twice on that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it did help and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, help me fight the evil AI algorithm. And uh, if you really appreciate the channel, uh, whitelisted from Adblock, it really does help me a lot. Bye everybody.